What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode with The Average Cowboy. And today we are making a horse saver. So I guess in the title you are saving your horse. But we're gonna get started on here and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy. guys so we cut this piece out here so we could weld it onto this bar here we'll weld it on here like such and we'll make it look good but so then that this whole piece will go in then the hook into here and pinned so we can actually pull it around with the tractor so we're in a Cut a few more pieces out and start welding it up. We got all these pieces uh, sort of put together. We're gonna get a strap to pull these parts together tight and we'll uh, tack it up, flip it over and uh, keep it going. And then uh, hopefully we can get it tacked or welded on the other side and then put it onto the, the axle. And I think that's all we're gonna be able to do today, but uh, we're making some progress and hopefully we can get it done. I got it on the axles and I got it welded on there pretty good. So I got it lifted up a little bit so I don't have to break my back and hurt my knees bending over the whole time. But so we're gonna weld these top welds, weld the back weld, tack it all good, make sure everything's looking good. We'll weld the axle some more, keep it on there sturdy. And then, uh, well, next, next thing we'll have to do is, uh, Grab some plate. We'll put plate over the top of it. So we got it pretty good today. We got the frame practically built. Um, so we're pretty set for today. Tomorrow we'll uh, weld these plates on here. We'll throw another plate right here in the middle. But um, yeah, we'll get these welded on. After we get these welded on, we're gonna put two pipes coming out from the from the frame to come up and then that's where we will get the barrel so we'll get that so it'll go on the trailer 
We'll just slide it on, put a pin in it, and uh, we'll just get, we'll see how it goes. Okay guys, it's day two, we're working on the force saver. Oh, this is how far we are. We've got this welded on together. We are gonna get going on the top plate. And yeah, we'll probably get the top plate done today and then we'll probably be able to start working on the barrel and how to uh, attach it to the trailer. So, so keep watching and you can see how I build this first. Thing. Now that we got this uh, metal welded on fairly good to the plate, we're going to cut along this line here just around the, the frame and weld onto that next. But yeah, I didn't have anything to mark a line so I used some tape. Tape worked alright so we'll see how it goes. So now that we got um, that part cut off here, we're going to weld it on and then we'll uh, then weld this other small piece here and then a piece on top of it and weld all that on, cut it off at the end and uh, then we'll get started on the barrel. Okay, okay, yeah. <clears throat> so we got that done. We're gonna start working on this barrel, getting it set up. We're gonna build the inside good. We'll uh, open this whole part up here. We'll cut down the side, put some holes where the pipe are gonna come through. And then after all that, we'll, uh, we'll screw it all together. And then we'll put the pipes. We're gonna have pipes coming out of here that we'll hook into here. But you'll you'll have to see you'll have to see what it looks like later. But yeah. Let's do it. But here it is. I pounded it into the barrel to kind of bring into that wither shape. If you can tell, it's not a circle, it's an oval now. And we've got this frame in here. And what we're gonna do is cut out holes on the barrel and then we'll weld to the holes. And then those, those, um, those pipes that are gonna be coming out will go into poles on the trailer. So we're getting it almost done. I think if we're lucky, we'll be able to put the poles in and maybe get this thing done today. So I guess we'll see how it goes. So guys, we've made a lot of progress. Um, we've got these legs on the barrel. We're gonna put the poles in the, on the hook them onto the trailer now next, but that's just how it's looking right now. I, got this, I screwed in the top. As you can see the screws every few. Down the side here. And along the bottom. I still need to weld those those uh, legs on the bottom still to hold it in. But um, so we'll we'll work on that. We'll put in the poles and 
Uh, we might get into putting the poles down, but it might be getting too late for that. But. So guys, we got the barrel set up on the trailer. This is how it's looking. Right here, we're just gonna weld those on. It's not welded yet. I'll weld these on. We'll put a pin in this pipe so it doesn't, so we can have it staying down. We'll uh, maybe grease it up, probably not. But it's looking like that. And we'll do the same thing with the poles on this side where those cuts are at. So the project is coming very good, coming along really good. Um, we might have, we might put some uh, pipes coming out here to be like a horse head, but I don't know. I don't know, I don't think so. We'll think about it, but yeah, that's how it's coming. So guys, we're just about done with this project. This is how it's looking. We've got that side set up for the calf tie, or you know, goat tying and stuff like that. So you can get off on that. And then you have this side for bulldogging, calf roping, maybe team roping, if you want to rope a smarty too. And yeah, so we're just about done. We'll probably get this sucker finished up tomorrow. But stick around and we will have it done tomorrow. We'll throw it into a trailer and take it to our client. What's up guys? So we got the dummy done. We uh, assembled it together. I kind of put like a little head on the front of it, just with a pipe. And uh, hooked some chain on it so they can hook their reins to it. To act like, uh, you know, act like you're, you're holding the reins. And um, I think that's where we left off. I loaded this all on the back of my truck here. As you guys can see, it's kind of hard to tell. But it's a little redneck. We got some straps on it and it's holding it down. We're uh, going through a canyon right now and we're about 45 minutes out. <laughs> So guys, we got the dummy dropped off and the client really liked it. This is how it looks. We've got this head right here poking out with these where you can hook your reins to it. And uh, yeah, it's coming out great. We'll throw a saddle on there. That's for a tractor three point pull. And we got it interchangeable so you can put it on both sides. We've got this nice plate. And yeah, client really likes it. We got this uh, steer wrestling dummy here that I also made for the client. So this is how this turned out. We got some real cow horns. You chop them off yearly, so we always got a handful of horns. And so yeah, he'll be able to start practicing bulldogging a lot more and not have to worry about a horse or steer or cattle. Just gasoline. But guys, thank you guys for watching. You guys make sure that you guys make these videos possible. And it wasn't for if it wasn't for you guys, I probably wouldn't be making videos like this. But make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe so you can catch some more content like this. And yeah, let's go. Don't do anything else that's not average because it's an uh, average cowboy challenge. Average cowboy challenge. Yeah, got a big one. Yeah, I don't catch big fish, I only catch the average fish.